Hey everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. I hope you are having a beautiful day wherever you are in the planet today. Today I am answering your questions as asked on a post made a few weeks ago. And this one just kind of made me chuckle. I don't know, I just laughed at it. And I'm like, should I make a video about this? I'm like, you know, I bet a lot of people wonder this. I bet a lot of people actually ask themselves this question. So let me share it with you now. <laughs> Kishore asks, how do people in the afterlife wear clothes? <laughs> how do they wear clothes? Good. Well, that's a, that's a fair question. Isn't that a fair question? Because when they appear to us, those of us who can actually see spirits, and who interact with them, they do appear in clothes. Sometimes they're wearing heavenly garments, if you will, things like robes with belts. Uh, sometimes they're wearing clothes that they wore at the time of their death. Other times they're wearing outfits that they really just loved when they were alive. For example, my mama, when she passed, she was 67, 68 years old, and she, that woman was vain. <laughs> She was, but in a sweet, sweet way. When she was like, when her neck was starting to fall, she was like, this is some bullshit. And she would always be like holding her stuff up and like looking at her face. And she's like, oh my God, if I just had $10,000, I'd fix my mug. I'd fix like everything. So she was a, she was a bit vain, but in a really sweet kind of way. But when she, when she first passed in 2000, in 2012, she would appear to me as she was when she passed. So around 67, 68 years old wearing clothing that I recognized she wore when she was here, but there was a different quality to her actual face. Uh, there were no wrinkles and there were, her teeth were also white. Whereas in life she had some blemishes in her teeth. She wouldn't want me to tell you all about this. I can hear her now. You better stop right there. <laughs> Thanks mom. Um, so she had, you know, she aged, but when she appeared to me, like it was super soft pink, face and no wrinkles and there was that really beautiful diffused light coming out of her skin as if there was a lamp on inside of her it was really cool and I noticed it and there's just this glow around her but she appeared as the age when she passed and then as the years rolled by we're now you know in 2019 so we're talking seven years later when she comes to me she's wearing bikinis <laughs> she's wearing like these really fabulous like cover-ups or she's wearing like go-go boots and stuff and her hair is really long there was a time in her life when her hair was like down past her butt and she was oh, that woman was pr in her day if I had a picture I'd show you she was pretty Czech princess let me tell you something and she that's how she likes to come to me and I love it because she's a little bit vain in the afterlife but she's wearing the clothes that she desires so these holy garments, these um, spiritual remnants, uh, is it remnants? These spiritual, this spiritual garb is just an energetic projection. And in the afterlife, they have access to this. And they use these clothes as a way for you to understand who it is that they are. This is why my mother used the clothes that she often wore before she passed. That's how I recognized her. That's why she appeared in the age that she was so that I could recognize her. It's just like when angels come to us. If angels were to come to us in their actual form, first of all, we would die because it is so powerful. It is so freaking powerful. They have to stair step their angelic energy all the way down and then they have to combobulate themselves. They have to rearrange themselves in such a way and project that into our experience so we don't freak out. If they actually appeared as they are, it would just be blinding, overwhelming, divine energy. Maybe there'd be some colors, but it wouldn't be much more than that. But they know that that's a little harder for us to relate to. They also do this with their names, Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, Jophiel. They don't care about names. We care about names. And so they respond to the names that we need in order to interact with them. Same thing in the world of spirit. They're not wearing actual clothes. I'm sure you know that, but they're using these clothes as a way for you to recognize their form when they're coming to you to have an interaction with you. Or they're using these clothes so that you can recognize what they're trying to convey to you. It's like some ghosts when they're walking through homes or they're walking out of the estate, they're wearing a specific type of clothing, maybe military clothing, maybe some kind of a dress to signal who they are, what their characteristics are, and sometimes their time period. And that's how we recognize them. So it's a tool for them to help make that connection with us. So. I hope that helps you. I hope that answered your really cool question. And on that note, I will see you in the next video. And I wish everybody a beautiful rest of your day. And I know it goes without saying, but I have to say it. I got nothing but love for you.
Join me this year at the 2019 Bliss Retreat in beautiful Loveland, Colorado. The Bliss Retreat is a four-night, five-day, blissed-out extravaganza where there will be sacred ceremonies, spiritual workshops, and nightly services with me, Crystal Ann Compton. Go to theblissretreat.org to learn more. I hope to see you there.